I'm actually a GIS analyst so through Postgre and dealing with databases and today we're going to use PostgreSQL this is a, a database that is open source you can be able to use this to share data within multiple or with different people just at the same time so once you've installed your Postgre there is this icon that appears on your machine or desktop you double click on it just to open so you right click or you double click on it and open this icon so once you open it you will definitely see an opening page on your browser and then once the page opens you're supposed to key in your password this is the password that you used when you are when you are setting up your postgre database so you, when you install the postgre so once this is loaded you have to key in your password so I'm just gonna key in my password and hit OK this is going to take you to a dashboard uh, where you've got your server and your database so once you hit on the server you will see a drop down arrow that will push you to seeing the contents in your server and database and Postgre is such a good database management system that is open source so you right click and create a new database if you have no database with you and then once you're here when you hit on database you give it a name probably my database and then after you've set your name you give a definition and security which are all defaults you hit on save and you will be taken to your new database so for me I had created one it's called my DB my database so I'm gonna use it to show you on how you can add an Excel sheet or your database to this uh, Postgre in such a simple way so let's dig into it guys uh, once you're here when you click on my DB the database that you've created that is uh, you drop down to schemas this is whereby you're going to find several options including the, the, the tables the functions and foreign tables that you're supposed to be using so once you're here you drop down to tables and here's where you're going to import your table and importing your table means table is just a structured data because a database is uh, basically uh, a table full of column and rows with the same data type and this is what you import here on Postgre so that you might share with other people now once you're here you will form a table by writing a SQL this is just some functions that will enable you to pull this data from your Excel sheet um so I'm going to drop this table that I had created earlier and just make one so delete and drop hit on yes um so I'm going to start creating a new or importing my table that is Excel this is my Excel sheet that I want to import to my DB and working with Postgre admin is is very very key when you're dealing with security of data and how you're going to manage this between organizations or individuals so while my Excel opens I'm going to show you on various things when you right click on tables you're able to refresh and just bring the schemas back to the default so I'm gonna hit on um, on schemas so this is my Excel sheet I want to import all this data to my PG admin that is Postgre administration ma database management so I have several columns and fields that I want to import.
refresh it and this is going to give you just a quick way of making everything is there are no other tables in between you are new creating database so I'm going to hit on to hit on this uh, execution key to bring about a, a query pane or a query window whereby I'm able to write my SQL and this SQL is going to be used to import the Excel sheet that has all this data so once I have written a SQL you can see I have the fields we have the city name we have the names so this is just a, a coronavirus uh, data that it has been uh, uploaded and that I definitely had to to pull and just show on how you can import such data into your database so once you're here you have a window that gives you the query editor where you're supposed to key in your query this is whereby you put a you put your queries that give about the attributes and what type of data type the attributes are so for example I have a field when you look at my excel sheet and compare with uh, my query this is the structured query you're supposed to to use for you to pull now or create tables in your schema so I'm going to just show you this is a field attribute which is this we can see a field attribute contains of the numbers which is a big serial basically it's just big serial is a big integer so there's no need to freak about that and I'm going to show you a city name is just basically a text and the name is a text so this is what the data type is a text so a name is a text a field a number is an integer or a big serial and then we have longitude and latitude they are double precision meaning they are floats or they have decimal points so I'm going to use that SQL once you have copied and passed your field you copy these you paste on your word program and give it the data type and then this is what you're going to paste on your SQL so I'm going to copy this right click copy then on my admin page dashboard I'm going to just paste the the SQL you can see the SQL is there then I'm going to execute this SQL and you can see the query returned successfully in 578 milliseconds so the SQL is correct sometimes you might find error and these errors will be definitely uh, seen here for example if I put here a comma uh, and I execute this there's an error saying syntax error or near uh, the, the comma delimited so it takes you to what line actually line 24 uh, the error is here so you must be careful on how you just key in your SQL so uh, this one already exists so my table is okay it has been my SQL has been has been uh, executed successfully so I need to copy now once you look at the table sorry you're going to see now all these columns of active tested have been pasted here so these are my columns you can be able to just drop or delete or create another column if you want to but this is basically this excel sheet all these call all these columns the city name the name the admin name population have all been listed here uh, and you can see them displayed here so once you you're here you need now to write another query or a or query editor that will enable you to now key in you are uh, to pull now the data from Excel and this query is what I have create I have written below here you copy public dot COVID this is public and then I have COVID uh, I have copied the COVID data so that is why you're saying public dot COVID from where is the directory of this data it is in C users desktop COVID dot and the directory can be found in a very easy way once you're here you are able to you right click on your data you go to properties and once you're here the properties you're able to see the location this is now the the directory for your data location once you've copied these you come and paste it to the directory you paste it here in between with commas and then you assign the name covid.csv file and then once you have written this SQL you are now able to copy it and 
use it on your PG admin dashboard to just copy this uh, query and uh, paste it on on my PG admin uh, SQL window uh, the query window so I'm going to just hit on these um, so I'm supposed to copy this hit on the execution and then you you definitely have to to write a SQL here select everything which is a star from uh, public it's public this is public dot covid from public dot covid and I'm going just to now paste my my SQL here paste so I'm going to highlight this and execute or run execution and my query returns successful so once you hear all this data has been pulled so I will hit right click on my table which is COVID uh, and then I'm going to view all rows so it's going to bring me all the data that has been imported from my excel sheet it's going to take some time but uh, this is just a quick way so you can see I have all my data pulled here so we have the city name which is a text we have the uh, the field which is an integer we have the latitude longitudes so this is just on how to store your data in Postgre admin so that when you want to share this data you can definitely give a port route for someone to access and just work on it probably update and uh, and just add extra fields in case there's some data being added or some data being deleted and once your data has been hit has been uh, added on the schema on your database you can now be able to form a server and share that a server is whereby you assign a port and the database link whereby you can be able to share these with uh, other connectors from different laptops or different PCs so once you're here you right click and create you create a server it's going to take you to a window whereby you're given uh, an option to put a server name and once you put a server name I already formed my server which is PostgreSQL but I'm just taking you through on how you can create the new server you give it a name probably say COVID server once you do that you, you you do a connection so you give a connection name this is probably your IP address so if you want to check your IP address first thing you need to do is hit on the command prompt you run the command prompt on your PC I'm gonna just, just show you a quick way of, of knowing where you how to get the IP address this is what you will be will be used to share with other connectors somewhere if you're working in different locations or different organizations so once I am I I have keyed, keyed in my command prompt S command prompt so you run you right click this run as administrator and once it has opened you're able to get your IP address uh, through uh, CMD that is so I'm going to show you on a quick way of how to get the IP name or address so once the command prompt window appears you just key in IP uh, I'm going to key in IP conf config hit and enter and uh, this is my IP address IP version 4 address this is what you key in you copy all these 192.168.43.86 each and every computer has its own IP address so you're going to copy that uh, assign it here 168 blah 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 and hit on save once you're on save um, you're now able to 
to create a server that can be shared to other people so you have created your server whatever is in your database is what is going to be hosted in your server so this is PostgreSQL 12 this is the version that I'm using so once you click on this you can see database has been uh, loaded to my server and this is now my DB dashboard the, the manual one and this is now my server where this data is hosted you can now be able to share the link once you create the server so I'm going to uh, whatever you see here this is my database which is also here on my postgre admin so this is my database and this is where you are able to see all this data that was located in my table is also displayed on my server which has been uploaded here on my server we have the tables and these tables is the COVID table so I'm able to share or create a port and link that I can uh, give to other users so that they can get access to the to the data and it gives a good way of managing and being the administrator you're able to look at what is kidding what is what is wrong if they are missing data they are able to be added and it, it's just a quick way of showing on how to use Excel and adding Excel to PG admin so once you're here you are able to you can see I have my database uh, if I right click on these I am able to query a tool I'm able to create a script again I'm able to disconnect the database server if I want to I am able to delete and drop it and I this is just a quick way of now giving someone uh, a, a, an access to your data once you're the administrator we also have the login and group rules probably this is what you all need when you're setting up a monitor or executing a server program or writing server files so what this gives you is a quick way of logins probably to read all settings that have been have been kidding or probably to to read the server files that you have on your postgre admin all right uh, watch out for my next tutorial that is going to be on working on leaflets and web uh, uh, web mapping with uh, QGIS which is just going to be a quick session and in case you have more more questions you're able to to ask me on my email which is uh, available on the link below on this channel video below so uh, all right guys got to to log out thanks for watching um, bye bye